<laughs> that door just shut. Okay, it looks like there's a uh, basement down there. Enclosed porch here, and then you go into the house there. With a lot of junk. Oh wow, look at this. Such a tiny house with so much left inside here. Oh, this is a great find. Have some antiques there. That's like a, uh, an old iron. Well, that's pretty disintegrated, the salt there. Type of books in there here. Looks like a different language. Looks historical. Just an old toaster. There's a uh, something from 1982. Looks like another history book. Capital of Lithuania. There's a uh, medication bottle here. I don't want to give out any names, but it's from 2002. And it's from a mental health center, so. Left all their pots behind, still in the sink. Frying pans. That looks pretty grungy. Doesn't that wind sound uh, spooky? Coming in through the window there. Looks like the uh, roof has been leaking. Looks like this was a bathroom, but not a bathroom with an office. It's kind of strange. Okay, here's your shower stall. Canadian Frontier. Yeah, they're really big on history here. And all of the stuff from the filing cabinets is all left behind, like Bank of Montreal, receipts there. October 10th, 1980 is on that one. Well, you could spend a full day in this tiny house just trying to gather clues. It seems whoever abandoned it just left everything. I'm assuming there's another Lithuani Assuming they were uh, maybe from Europe. And look how yellow the newspaper is here. <gasps> I 
that door just shut. <laughs> Let's open it. Let's hope it opens again. Okay, um... in a different language when I don't see a date okay obviously old though you can tell by the uh, yellowing of it okay wow okay And this door here is about to slam shut. Well, at least there's a nice breeze blowing through here. And you come into a bedroom. Here's your attic. Looks like one of the kids maybe stayed here. Okay, this is different. I remember these mugs. It's the first time I've seen one of those in about Oh, I don't know, uh, 30 years? The couch and everything is still here. Even the TV, look. It's not even ransacked. Like, there doesn't appear to be any vandalism because that would normally be smashed if there was another TV. The couch really isn't in that bad a shape, actually. I mean, nothing I'd like, but just, you know, relatively speaking. Typical 70s type furniture. Got some leaks there. This must be the master bedroom. Still got your uh, tall boy or whatever you want to call it there. Looks like maybe an animal's been digging in there. Maybe sleeping there. Just kidding. And a French door is just leaning. It probably belonged at the entrance between the kitchen and this bedroom. And there's just so much to see. Bags full of stuff over there. Looks like photos. But I can't show those on video. Uh, this door is pretty heavy so I can't get past it to look in the uh, tall boy. There's like a window air conditioning unit there. Still in good shape, I mean not smashed or anything. I got some black mold happening up there. Wow, this is unreal. Definitely is a trip back to the 70s and 60s. OK, 
Okay, well, let's head down to the basement. Yeah. I wonder if a raccoon is staying here, or was staying here. It's like an old jewelry box, but there's nothing in it. 1975, 1976. Look, the glasses are still sitting there as though, you know, they lived here still. Makes you wonder what happens in situations like this where, like even the food is left behind and some booze up there. The cereal. If they left everything. Okay, it doesn't look like we'll need a flashlight down here. And it's uh, concrete stairs. Probably won't be too much to it as it's just a small house. Oh, a nice breeze. glass. It's an old ringer washer. Still, yeah. still in good shape. Just needs to be cleaned up, fixed or whatever, but I mean it's not destroyed or smashed. A water heater. Whoa. The wind keeps smashing the doors and the windows. And I have no idea what these are. But I know some of you will. Which is always good. And that's the fun of going through these houses together. We can figure these things out. There's another uh, ringer washer. It's got a uh, furnace filter laying in here, but look, it's like, in good shape. And what do you know, like a toilet that's not even smashed. Usually those are the first things to go when the vandals find out about a place. Looks like a well tank over there. And that must have been part of the furnace. Looks like a furnace motor down there. And a bunch of windows. Same here. I wonder what that's all about. And a boot. So as usual, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs>